Welcome to the video by Stands Auto Repair. Um, today we're doing a small amount of tune-up. Um, we don't need to do a coil pack or the plugs. The plugs are still good. Um, they are actually Mopar, so um, I definitely don't want to change those out for no like uh, off brand. Um, but uh, so this is the double overhead cam 2.4 16 valve um, the VIN X uh, that's in the Dodge Stratus this is a 2003 and the uh, tune-up is pretty much the same uh, on most vehicles uh, this one doesn't very much differ but um, I'm doing this video specifically for you people that own a Dodge Stratus so you can see what it's done on this uh, engine and this engine here um, it's pretty much close to the engine that's in the Dodge Neon, but it's more close to the engine that's in a SRT uh, style or a uh, PT Cruiser. Or the, uh, but the close cousin to the Dodge Stratus is the Chrysler Sebring. Um, so, in a sense, um, the firing order's pretty simple. You have one, two, three, four. Uh, four, three, two, one. Um, so it, it, it's not hard to uh, confuse it so uh, what you want to do is you definitely want to uh, pull the plug and look at it um, it's nice and clean and shiny in there it's not rusted at all uh, so this is actually good so what we'll do you'll need one of these gaps okay um, and right on the Oh, let's see where is it at um, okay on the hood directly above up right next to where the the clip is that goes into to hold the engine down it tells you spark plug gap is 0 0.050 inch so that is your gap for your spark plugs 0 0.0 Five, zero. So on here, you have 0 0.80, 0 0.70, 0 0.60, 0 0.50. So that line right here is where, basically in the center, is where you want to gap it. So we're using Champion Platinum Power Premium Spark Plugs which the part number is uh, 3570. And this is what a good new spark plug looks like. So let's go ahead and check the gap. And we need to come just a little, little bit. Okay, and, oh. Okay, so we need to close it. I'll just do it over here. Okay, let's, gotta get this pretty much accurate. Okay, there we are, we're at point fifty. So, that spark plug's done. Well, that's a little bit too big. I got one for, I got a socket for a diesel truck. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So the size you need is, let's see, 5 eighths. Uh, that's the standard size for the spark plug. So we'll go ahead and get the one out. Okay. All right, this bad boy is. Okay. I don't want to break it. <laughs> so let me. <clears throat> All right, that's good. I hope these ain't seized in here. Okay, 
Okay, I was going the wrong way. Don't do that mistake. <laughs> I was thinking lefty uh, towards me. It's actually away from me. Pulling it this way towards you is tightening. Away from you is loosening. So, okay, there we go. All right, now if you don't have the rubber boot that's in here, you can take and then pull it. Now we're gonna examine the spark plug. All right. As you see, this one is pretty coated in oil. So it's one of two things. The gaskets that are on the valve cover uh, around here the spark plug tube are wore out so it's letting oil seep into the spark plug tubes or the spark plug tubes themselves have worked their ways up a little bit this car will be getting the valve cover changed but I need to uh, buy the uh, gasket silicone so I can do the corners um, that way it don't leak um, I don't have that or I'll do that so this is just there will be a part two to this um, but other than that the tip of the spark plug looks exactly like it should because it's burning oil, but it's not too bad. The electrode, let me see if I can get this in here. See the electrode there, it's pretty short. And this electrode, uh, yeah, there we go, it's bigger. So this spark plug is pretty much old. And let's see, and we have Bosch is a spark plug. Um, I actually don't like running Bosch, but we also want to check, take the spark plugs together, and they're pretty much identical. All right, so go ahead and drop that in there. And then we'll tighten her down. But first thing you want to do, oh, all right. you want to hand tighten them in. You don't want to use a, any kind of tool on this other than your hand, your hands. So get them in there, tight. Then take and get get your tool straight, and then. Tighten it in. Once you feel it snug, get it snug here, then bring it down a quarter. So from here to here, and that's tight. And then you can pop that back in. Same thing with, oh, put that on the wrong one. This one goes here. <laughs> yeah, you always wanna make sure you're uh, paying attention. Snap that in there. And it's the same, oh, we got the same issue here. It's not as bad, um, if you look at it. It's not as bad, there's not as much oil, uh, but you can tell these spark plugs are old. Um, and this car does have over two, 230K miles on it. Um, they're mainly highway miles. So again, we just do this and that doggy here in the background that would be king we just got him yesterday and he has a little uh, separation anxiety issue because his previous owner pretty much babied him all the time he was yeah he was babied I don't baby my dogs So hand tighten this down. Okay. Tighten until it's snug. Then get your ratchet lined up and then a quarter down. Okay, so that one's done. 
I had checked these previously and three of the spark plugs were actually were not tight and that was this one here um, check this one inside the boot is nice and nice and clean same with this one here so we'll get this one uh, out of here some people do use power tools when they do this I don't agree with that because you can possibly strip oh now this one's coated in oil pretty bad too now let's get it out as you can see nice oh let me get in the camera nice nice and that that has a nice and lay of oil so once i do the valve cover i can get in there and definitely get a look see and you guys will be able to be right beside me while i do it um i actually got a system now to hold my camera up um which is good and i actually have a some software on my phone to where i can actually make my videos a little bit nicer um so there's the new one and sometimes these gaps are right on uh but these ones were just these ones are about uh point 40 um okay so they're about 10 off so get that in there and if you hear music in the background i've went ahead and played it uh because I don't get mon monitorized anyways, so my videos won't get flagged and I won't lose any money from views because I don't make any money from views. I honestly make no money from YouTube at, or anything at all um, because I do this for, I do this for fun. I don't do it to make money. Okay, and we're snug. Pop that in there. All right, check this boot. It's good. Previously, uh, this boot here and this boot here was coated in oil. I cleaned them, uh, cleaned the inside, got them looking new, uh, and it doesn't look like we're getting a lot of oil in there. It's just around the spark plugs themselves. So my theory is, is maybe these Bosch plugs uh, wasn't necessarily the correct ones because they looked a little bit longer and I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about let's check this one all right, this one was covered in oil, oil back when I pulled it out originally, and it's actually clean. You can see where the oil was forming on it, but it's not forming anymore. Um, another thing you do want to check on the spark plugs um, is if there's any cracks in them along here. If you have any cracks here, the spark plug is no good. So you also want to check your new ones for that too, because sometimes they do get damaged. Um, and they don't the quality check of them don't uh, pass so let me go ahead and show you the slight variance difference um, these are actually OEM um, champion is what used was used in this car when it was first came off the assembly line these are the same spark plugs that were using it off the assembly line so these are OEM um, so if we look and we get them lined up you can see that the Bosch area is it's quite different makeup especially where the spark plug sits in the in the spark plug tube uh, right here this devil is this is more flat but at an angle this is more at an angle um, so this here, I'll check it uh, when we go to do this uh, valve cover. I will pull these to see how the oil's doing. Um, but that's 
that's what I believe is the issue. Uh, these Bosch, they're close, but they're not right on the money for this engine. Okay. Go ahead and get this one in. Now, some of you may wonder why I didn't put any uh, uh, sealant on the, on the spark plugs, because I don't need to, because these spark plugs come pre-coated, uh, so I didn't need to coat anything on it, because they already have anti-seize on the spark plug, um, so I didn't need to put any anti-seize on it. Uh, these Bosch, um, they actually had uh, the Bosch, at least the ones that I had put in my neon way back, I had to do anti-seize because they didn't have any and the package said to use it. Uh, so, that's the tune-up. Um, if you're like me, I always keep my old spark plugs. This is just for reference, so next time I do a tune-up on this car, I... Can, I can look at the spark plugs to see if there's any engine issues uh, because it'll definitely tell me the spark plugs will tell you a lot about a car um, so uh, what you can do is on the box somewhere um, I'll do it here is I'll write the date and the mileage on the car when this was done that way I have a reference uh, so and on here on the box see if I can get this to focus okay right here it's showing you to do a half turn on it but the service manual tells me a quarter turn not a half turn and I'll tell you what, if I tried to do a half turn on tightening these down, uh, because at a quarter turn, I get a lot of resistance. Um, so I don't want to go any further than that because you don't want to over tighten them. And, and it tells you without gasket, one sixteenth of a turn. And I had the gaskets on so it's it, it's it's very sometimes the spark plugs on here on the back you don't technically want to go by these there's some people that tell you go by what the package tells you you go by what the service manual tells you for your car um, and since these were OEM factory plugs that were used in the car I'm going by the service manual not the plug itself all right so again the part number on these is 3570 and you can purchase these from rock auto that's rockauto.com um, they are not sponsored but that is where i purchased these and also the valve cover gasket um, i got that with rock auto also and uh here's the gasket and it does come with the gommets for the bolts around the valve cover and it comes with the spark plug uh, gaskets. Uh, this keeps oil from seeping down into the spark plug tube which can cause engine issues. So there we go. Thank you for watching and as I always say, um, if it's broke, fix it. And let's keep our cars going, uh, especially if we have an older car, because I will tell you, these newer cars, um, I won't work. I really won't work on them uh, because they're, they're just so censored out 
Um, I had a friend that brought me a car and I literally had to plug up a $15,000 computer system to the car before I could work on it. So there's nothing I could have done for the car. I couldn't even do a spark plug because you got to go in and you got to tell the computer, hey, I changed the spark plugs or hey, I changed the oil or hey, um, I changed the camshaft sensor uh, because if you don't go in there and tell the car that it's been changed, it's going to act like it was never changed. Um, but that's the thing I like about these older cars is you change the camshaft sensor, the car knows it because it sends a signal to it, the computer reads that all the signals and the relays and everything coming back to the computer is correct. Uh, because when it throws a code, that's because something is not working correctly and so there's causing a malfunction. So uh, as some people call it, the money light comes on. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, and ask me questions. I'll answer them the best I can. Uh, you can email me at dodgeneonracing.com. You can check out my Instagram page. It's underscore Dodge Neon Racing. If you follow me, I follow back. I always follow back because I, I check it daily uh, to see if anybody's followed me. And if you own a Neon and you come across my recommendations, I do follow you automatically. I don't care what kind of Neon it is. Uh, and I'm starting to follow people that own PT Cruisers and Dodge Stratuses. Uh, so thank you all again. And... Um, if y'all want to send me any thanks, thanks, you know, for, you know, the help, if I've helped you out at all with these videos, I'll leave an address down in the description. Um, this, this is a physical address, but it's just a piece of land. Um, but I get mail at this part of the address cause it's on my land. Um, but it's, there's actually no homes on it. It's just a vacant field. Um, so, but that, that that's the address I figured on using cause it, it's, it doesn't cost me nothing but a P.O. box would. Um, so again, thank y'all. And if it's broke, fix it. <laughs>